Well, now, please recognize that I'm a little handicapped in getting too explicit with answering here because in this exchange of letters uh, between the two of us, it, uh, for once, uh, they were not out on the front page of the paper before they got to us or even now. So I have let him know that this is my answer to him and uh, we won't be negotiating out in, in public on this. But I can tell you this much, that no, with regard to ABM, which again is a treaty they're violating, we and they wanted a long time, yes, they had proposed a long time agreement that we would say, well, ABM goes on ad infinitum. No, we have simply stated that we are proceeding with the research and development of this SDI system and it is, it is being done actually within the constraints of the ABM treaty because we know how long this research is, is going to go before we're faced with the problem of, of uh, deployment. And just the farthest that I can go is to tell you that what we are seeking is in advance uh, about the time when we really could see some practical results of the, of the research and, uh, and we don't have to violate ABM. I mean, this can all be done in the constra those constraints. Then our proposal is that we sit down with them and a whole new agreement that supersedes the, the other with re regard to testing and deployment and so forth. And uh, it's a pretty generous uh, thing that we're talking about doing. But I can't go beyond that because uh, all that the press has been talking about with their talk of the letter and so forth, they ain't seen the letter. 